There is an insane list of the top 30 hardest coins in Geometry Dash, and in this video I'll tell you about the most interesting ones. I'm also going to have to collect 3 of these levels coins for myself. This is gonna be difficult. The first level I went for was an epilogue. I had to click 3 times in the beginning and the level went from a 6 star to a hard demon. Robtop's coins are nothing compared to this. A demon level that I luckily won't have to tackle is Nitro. An already difficult demon which forces you to go through these secret passages to eventually get the coins. The creator also made sure to throw in a fun 98% jump. Vikea is a mini game that's normally not too difficult, however if you click in the beginning, no miss mode will be activated. This is no longer a 6 star. Holy War is difficult because there's a key you have to collect once every 5 seconds. How annoying. Rum and Base is a remake of a Beat Saber level and the first two coins only require you to beat the level using different color combinations. The third coin has a twist though. You have gotta beat the level with invisible lightsabers. Hey, at least this is more content for invisible deadlocked enjoyers. Back to my journey. After some frustrating fails, I finally got the only coin in Epilogue and beat my first level. This is Hazy Thoughts. It's a level which allows you to collect this seemingly easy key. One issue with this key. If you collect it for the last coin, you'll have to do this. And this is not even in the top 20 coins. Can you imagine the others? The wave route required to get Tom Foolery's coin is significantly harder. I mean, just see for yourself. It only gets worse from here. Cement uses interesting gameplay tactics to hide its coins. In this part, you click to move the structures. You can either click the normal way or do this weird click pattern to get the first coin. The next two coins really require you to think outside the box or look it up on YouTube. I guess either way is thinking out of the box, am I right? Mid is really stupid and I hate it. None of the routes really fit the level and you could tell that they were just implemented in five minutes to troll anyone trying to get the coin. Permafrost Village is an interesting remake of Permafrost Cavern. I say interesting because the coins and gameplay of this level are so rough that even the number one star grinder gave it a personal rating of pain. This guy's seen a lot. While the usual hidden routes play a part, the real difficulty comes with getting this seemingly easy key which makes your icon go invisible. This is especially awful due to the invisible speed portals in this part. I mean slippery surfaces or whatever, don't, don't let me break your immersion. Last coin is the usual, you just gotta collect the hidden snowflakes uh, to melt these snow walls or whatever, I don't know. The second level I would go for had three coins and it was known as somnambulism. The first coin only required two timings while the second coin required me to collect this skull. This turned a normal wave part into a mini wave part. That was awful. After collecting the second coin, I realized it was almost finished. However, the third coin would be the hardest one yet. To get the third coin, I had to skip orbs and hold very specifically on platforms like these. This was all to keep my click count under nine. Now my second level is completed, but the hardest challenge is yet to come. Next is ooh. First two coins are the usual key routes. Although the third coin is usual, just sucks. Thing just blacks out everything, including your player. Good luck staring into the void for all of eternity. Falling apart looks completely normal, but as you can tell by the weird route the icon is taking, well, it's sadly necessary to get the coin. To get all three coins in shift, you must beat the level before the progress bar hits 70. This requires optimized movements and very good memorization of the level. This is at least slightly generous compared to the rest of the top 10. Vesperus is another level with interesting hidden routes, and it's worth noting that at this point we'd be lucky to see even 10 people legitimately have the coins of these levels. The final level I have to beat for this challenge is Castle Mania, an open world geometry dash level where there is a ton of routes. Only the three boss routes give me a coin though. The first boss I went for was the Reaper. I climbed to the highest point of the castle and found myself in the Reaper's palace. Now this boss's attacks are randomized, so it was a bit annoying. Eventually, I got to the final section. If I fall, I probably won't die, but then I won't get the coin. So after dodging the reaper's attacks and staying on the roof, I would get the first coin. Now the reaper is forced to subscribe to Matmart. Maybe you should join. If you collect this free coin lol at 87%, Cosmic Shard's last ship becomes 60 hertz hell. Mission C was initially a joke level made by Pac, and it was given to Embed. Before giving the coin to his brother, Embed decided to implement some of the hardest coins and the least funny memes, and Mission C was the final result. I don't even know what to say about these coin routes. You see them, I see them. Next. Block puzzle is normally not too bad, however, if you want all three coins, you'll have to reach stage 7, which requires you to have near perfect strategy and memory going into this level. Good luck doing this for 8 minutes straight. Definitely a tedious challenge. For the second boss, I had to avoid activating the spear switch. Then I entered the sketchy sewer. Going into
to the gardens, I clicked over the fly traps and got the flower key. I did a very specific orb combination to enter the haunted library, once again bagging another key. I entered this room and as expected, all the ladies' eyes are on me. But I'm only interested in one cutie, the second boss. This one requires a lot of pre-planning to beat, although by going up and down, I was able to avoid all of the attacks. The boss sent some bats that I had to counter. After beating the book, I got my second coin. Now we're in the top 5. Wine Rezem is definitely a pleasant top 5, I mean, just get these keys, you know? It, it, nice scenery to look at, you know? Nice, nice part. I sure hope I get to see the same wonderful scenery for the second coin. What the f*** is this? Alright, so as if this icon challenge isn't bad enough, the third coin in the robot part is so awkward. There's no way this part is consistent whatsoever. This coin does not look fun at all. While Pop-Up's first coin is the usual elaborate key route, the second and third coin try something different. There are two different conditions set for the last part. These two conditions are far harder to clear than they might look, especially the less than 35 clicks one. There is a reason why this is number 4 after all. Never Make It is a combination of all the user coin tropes that we know and love. The interesting diverging pathways, the unnecessarily difficult wave challenge, which oh my goodness, and the let's make a part 10 times more annoying by forcing your icons to become invisible. This is not a fun one. Nisomuri is the second hardest coin level for a lot of reasons. Coin 2 especially has an interesting history because for every time this coin was collected, the level would be updated, resulting in a new challenge for every victor. Though the coin is no longer being updated, it's still a pretty complex route today. Although, coin 1 is 10 times worse. It's an insanely complex mess of triggers, secret ways, and glitch exploits that are way too complicated for me to cover all in this one video. Check out the coin list if you're one of the dozen people interested in ruining your own day. Anyways, coin 3 is a breathing break as it revolves around simply clicking every orb in the level. Now, before I talk about the hardest coin in the game, there was a level with two insanely difficult coins called Nothingness. The first coin consisted of having to do the infamous 8 jumps of hell challenge which contained multiple frame perfects, while the second coin consisted of doing the 3 seconds hell challenge twice in a row. While Robtop did approve the first coin, upon the release of the second coin the level would lose its silver coin status, and due to this both coins would be removed from existence. The hardest level on the coin list manages to somehow be even worse. Serpent's Wrath is number one for a reason. There are four routes. First, the normal one, which is just a medium demon that gives you no paper, leaves you penniless. Then there's the Puzzle Master route, in which the cool serpent boss fighter is replaced by some puzzle pieces or whatever. That's a little lame for all the work you're going to have to put into memorizing this route, but hey, at least now I have one out of three of these coins. The Treasure Hunter route is as close to a normal coin route as this level gets. You just gotta, you guessed it, hunt the treasure. And then face this drip the f*** out king of snakes. Sheesh! That's what you get when you flex too hard. Now the true reason this level is number one on the list of hardest coins is because of the beast slayer route. If you snag this coin, this greedy dude will maul it so hard that the level turns into an extreme demon. And he got crack eyes. Oh, never mind. Literally everything's red now. As you swim through the blood of every cube that's tried to pickpocket this guy's righteously earned bag, Phantom Snake kills him anyways and gives you an even harder time than the one in the Treasure Hunter route. Now, once you spam the Phantom Loser out of existence, you can say that you're one of the few people to get all three coins. I hope the thousands of attempts and endless suffering was worth it. The final Castlemania coin would be my hardest challenge yet. I had to jump into this hidden log to turn mini and avoid activating the bridge. After exiting the toxic prison, I had to steal three orbs from the Sigma Skeleton Osgus! Very difficult task, I know. After making my way through the catacombs, I faced this big eye thing or whatever. Well, I got my eye on the prize. I engaged in eye contact with this cutie. After dodging lasers and incomprehensible horrors, I would finally get the final coin of Castle Mania. And with that, I have all the coins I need. <laughs> Easy. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. In the future, new coins will be added to the coin list, so make sure to check them out. If you want to see more weird challenges in Geometry Dash, check out the Hardcore Roulette. See ya!